We weren't very good on the show yesterday. We will try to be better today. Uh, We are not walking while giving these bets, by the way, Mark Zell. We are sitting here on Ranger Talk Today TV. We are bereft of controversy. Well, at least in the opening minute of the show, I'm sure you'll say something to spark debate in the comments section. Use the word bereft, and nobody in the audience knows what it means. Well, I, you know, I'm trying to educate, you know, learn while you earn, Mark Zinno. Exactly. <laughs> he, knows. he knows. He knows why. Tokyo it's Brandon, bereft. my man, Tokyo Brandon bereft knows what bereft means. Advice he's bereft of. He is bereft of fashion. Uh, we were bereft of wins yesterday. We need to change yes, that right now. Our first losing day this week. There we go. All right. Uh, you have a bet. Uh, talk about bereft of wins. The Chicago White Sox. Uh, they do have a few this year, but uh, you are willing to – they are so bad, Mark Zeno, you know, that you are lay, willing to lay the one and a half against them today with the Detroit Tigers and Kyder Montero. Yeah. Um, you know, I listen, this is a crazy play, um, but it's just one of those things where I think there's only two outcomes. The Tigers win handily or the White Sox win outright. And because I'm going against Chris Flexen – I'll take the Tigers to win handily. And on not only that, I'm getting a much worse bullpen with Chicago than I am with Detroit. So, um, you know, I, I think we have a decided edge there late in the game that if, you know, the Tigers can get to a one-run lead, six, seven, eight innings, I might push another one across here. Uh, Montero was very good in his last start against the Yankees. He went five innings, didn't give up a single run. Um, that, that game was in Detroit. Uh, he was he was stellar, only gave up two hits. So he, he, two of his last three starts, he's given up one run or less. Maybe he's starting to turn a corner here. My biggest fear is this, BP, and just from this series, Detroit leads the regular season series so far 5-1. to one. Four of the five wins mm. have been by one run. one nothing, 7-6, 3-2, 2-1, and the other one was 11-2. So um, these games were back in – the first season of the series, Tigers and White Sox, back at the end of March. Then they played again in June. Oh so they God. haven't played in two months. Yeah. So they haven't played in two months uh, since the end of June. So it's been a long time. Obviously, Chicago, much worse now in where they are. And they're basically not even fielding a, a, a major league squad at this point in time. Enough for me to hear. Why lay with the 155? I get a much better number at the one and a half. Uh, I'll roll the dice that Detroit won't win another one run game against the White Sox and their incredibly terrible bullpen. So. Uh, give me Detroit minus one and a half here. And it's an away team, BP. They'll get all nine at yes. bats. They'll get all yes, nine they at will. bats. Man. They'll get you excited because you can't play one. I am. I, I'm, I am very excited right now. <laughs> Don't sound like that whatsoever. Uh, but you can feel free to comment down below with your thoughts on the Detroit Tigers minus one and a half on the run line. By the way, we mentioned it yesterday. We are talking college football today because week zero is tomorrow. Uh, stay tuned for that. Feel free to drop your favorite bets for Friday down in the comments section below. And while you're at it, smash that like button. We're very likable people. All right, my half of the double play. Arizona Diamondbacks against the Boston Red Sox. A lot of red on the Sox. screen right there. Yes, uh, the Sox. All right, look, uh, first off, this starting pitching matchup feels like a troll job of Mark Zinno because <laughs> we've got Ryan, don't call me Ryan Nelson, against spelled Brian wrong. with an extra A. Also spelled wrong. Bayo, don't call me Bello. They are thought, bereft, I, before they I get, are bereft of spelling. Okay. Their parents okay. are bereft of spelling. I just, you know. Well, Ryan well no, is they, 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 they spell. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Ryan yes. Brian, is, there you see. One of two ways right there. Right, right there on the screen. Him. Right on the screen. Brian. I mean, I, I, both both are acceptable, but Ryan and Rainey are not actual names. It's Ryan, not Ryan. Uh, Ryan. <laughs> Ryan Sandberg spelled his name that way. Anyway, let's talk about this game. No matter how much you want to say, how you want to say his name, Bayo. The Red Sox are five and zero in his last five starts, but I think Bayo, that's a little Bayo. bit fluky. Bayo, Bayo. Uh, here's yeah, the it's actually I look at this game. No, it's Bayo. No, I, I it's that's spelled Bello. We're in America. It's Bello. No, I'm gonna. It's Bello. All right. Can can I get through this, please? All right. I'm sorry. No matter how it. Okay. Let's talk about price instead of spelling for a change, shall we? Because <laughs> I look at this as bought. I, I yes, exactly. This game is being played at Fenway Park, which I visited uh, last month. No one cares about that, but what they should care about is 
I don't see any reason why Boston should be favored here, Mark. You, you look at these starting pitchers, I think it's kind of a wash. Nelson's been a lot better himself of late. Uh, the bullpens, I would certainly give Arizona an edge. We talked earlier this week, the Red Sox bullpen since the break has been an absolute dumpster fire. They stink. Worst ERA in all of baseball. They give up a lot of home runs. And what can Arizona do? Home, road, the moon, Mars, doesn't matter. They score a lot of runs no matter where they play. One of the highest scoring teams in all of baseball. I believe they actually they lead Major League all of Major League Baseball in runs per game overall. Boston does not score as much in Fenway as they do on the road. It's all about price for me on this one, guys. Give me that nice plus price on Arizona, who, oh, by the way, has been one of the hottest teams, if not the hottest team in Major League Baseball in the second half. So that's Arizona on the money line to go along with Tigers' run line. That is your double play for today. Again, feel free to share your thoughts on those two selections and leave us your own selections for Friday in Major League Baseball. Uh, Do we go to our best bet in Major League Baseball today, Mark, or do we do college football first? Maybe Joe Ranieri can yell at me in my ear and tell me what to do. I don't know. Baseball, we're going to baseball. Okay, we're going to baseball here. All right. I had something else um, I want to do. I'll wait till the end of the show to do it. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, yeah. stay tuned for that, everyone. All right. Best bet. Uh, in soccer, we call it the new manager bounce, Mark Zinno. Uh, I know you. Oh. Uh, yes. So, bouncing. bouncing. Yes. Yeah, bou- uh, don't start with that. Okay. Anyway, on the phone before the show, I said to you, hey, Seattle Mariners, new manager. Do we take them today against the Giants? Your response was, well, just because they have a new manager doesn't mean they're going to figure out how to hit. Doesn't mean they can hit. Nevertheless. Never seen a manager make better hitters, ever. Well, Ichiro was a good hitter in his day. Uh, Anyway, here's the deal. None. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Sweet Lou. Uh, Anyway, we started talking about the game more, and it's not just a new presence in the dugout. It's the fact Luis Castillo, who's starting today for the Mariners, yes. has been phenomenal all season at T-Mobile, as have most of the Seattle stars. They're yes. number one in run suppression, fewest runs allowed uh, in Major League Baseball at home, Seattle. So, yeah, I, I'll t- I'm busting up the dictionary today. It's R&I I mean, Zidow. Run uh, suppression. Run yes. suppression. Suppre- yes, we're I keeping the runs down. Use that in baseball, run suppression. Oh, I, I – Oh, I use it all the time in my write-ups. WT.buzz slash PP. Check it out. There we go. That's a great place to go. Yeah. At, at, on Twitter, at, uh, at Brian Power Wins underscore wins, whatever it is. <laughs> I was going to say, say suppression think- bereft. I'm going to say it. I'm just going to I'm just gonna tweet random words today. Anyway, uh, tell the people right, why, they actually, why they should bet Seattle. Yeah. Because Luis Castillo has a 285 ERA at home. Uh, he has been just, as you've mentioned, phenomenal. Problem is he's only 6-5 to five at home because he doesn't get a ton of run support. But – what we're hoping for here is that uh, the starting pitcher for the San Francisco Giants, his first, first name is Hayden, which is always a little bit suspect, but his last name is Birdsong. <laughs> it's weird. I mean, he, but you know what else I've learned? Will you stop his insulting everyone's name? His five, because just be normal. Just have a normal name. Um, his 501 ERA and his 1.38 whip, those things are not good. Um, those, are, those are not categories where you want to be. Away from home, he's got a 564 ERA on the year. Um, so he is, he's allowed more home runs on the road than he has at home. Um, he's only made nine starts this year. So he's a kind of reliever converted into a starter due to necessity for the giants who don't really, you know, have a ton of starting pitching. Um, this, this should be a spot here where Seattle can score enough. Um, and again, it's hard to take Seattle's bats away for all nine innings if you need them, right? Because they don't score that much. Mm -hmm. Uh, This is why I cut this game in half, even though. You know, part of me wants to do that and just, you know, <laughs> walk away with a win. Um, that I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, look. Can I just say this real quick about this whole thing? I just found out about this <laughs> ten minutes before we went on the air. Okay. Um, here's a crazy idea. <laughs> Here's a, here's, a, here's a crazy idea. Here's a crazy idea. Um, if you just get a lot more right than wrong, you can walk, you can sit, you can fly, you can flex, you could do it naked, you could do it clothed. It doesn't matter. The point is, you got to get more right than wrong in this industry. 
That's the point. <laughs> and and guess what? As somebody who went through a bad lull, right, in May, June, and July, who was incredibly hot in April in baseball and incredibly hot in August in baseball, guess what? Stop talking no one about paid- yourself. <laughs> no, shut up. No one paid attention to me in May, June, and July. Why? Because I couldn't get anything right. You start getting them right, people start paying attention again. That's kind of the nature of this business. So here's a little tip to everybody out there who wants to create something new, fun, and exciting. Okay? Get more right than you do wrong, and people will pay attention. (laughs) Yeah, again, um, get more right then wrong and everything seems to work itself out because that's kind of what this is about (laughs) this public service announcement has been brought to you by mark zeno the king of flexing bets yeah 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 flexing bets (laughs) hopefully we get more wrong i'll tell you what the pressure's on especially after yesterday we really got to get more wrong than we got right uh that we get or we get we need to get more right I'm all screwed up for that. Yes. Why don't you just why don't you just tell me what we're supposed to do today? Uh yes, the best bet is on the Seattle Mariners, and we hope to get more right than we get wrong. Uh, college football. Yes, college foot college football is about ready to start as this train about the season has not even started in college football, and this train is already well off the track. Um yeah. I really want to quote the Grateful Dead right now, but I will not. Uh anyway, Florida mm-hmm. State and Georgia Tech. Kick us off okay. over in Dublin, uh, a lovely city. I love the city of Dublin, by the way. Um, this right. is an interesting game. Yeah, I just, you know, I just like throwing those things in there. Money came in on Georgia Tech. A lot of people I know and respect uh, have uh, wanted to buy Florida State. Uh, your take, Mark Zinno. I, but my God, famous last words uh, as I say that to you. Look, I'm not, I'm not betting Georgia Tech. I, I, there, there's just no way. I can I can do it. I'm not sure where all this Georgia Tech love is coming from. They have a new defensive coordinator, Tyler Santucci, who who was the coordinator at Duke, who last year had one of the best defenses in the ACC, if not the country. Um, but you know what Tyler Santucci didn't do? Bring over better players. Uh, this was the, the, a run defense last year in Georgia Tech that was 128th out of 130 teams in the country. Their overall total defense was 120th out of 130 teams in the country. Even if they are markedly better, they are still – a bottom 50 defense in the country. Okay. Uh, Florida State <laughs> now has DG, DJ Uwe Ungalale. DJ Uwe Ungalale. I, I, don't, I don't think he's better than Jordan Travis was last year, but um, that's neither here nor there. And I know Florida State has lost a bunch on the defense, but I just think Florida State is more talented. There's just no way I'm betting Georgia Tech. It's Florida State a pass for me. Um, yes. You know, I, I may would even contemplate looking at a Florida State team total uh, because I think that they still can score against Georgia Tech. Uh, Haynes King, the quarterback for Georgia Tech, I guess is on the rise. I still think he's pretty mistake prone. Um, we'll see. Again, Brent Key has done a great job over on the flats. He has. I, I think that there's reason to be optimistic about Georgia Tech. I just don't know if I like him in this spot. Uh, and when you're getting three points better than the opening line on the Seminoles, feels like that's the right side. This even touched 10 in some shops yesterday. Yes. I saw some people jumping on that. Uh, hats off uh, if you did that. Now, Florida State will be without its offensive coordinator, Alex Atkins, suspended. Uh, does that matter? They've I don't had a know. Month to get ready. They've had a month to get ready for this game. Like, honestly. Yeah. It's not like okay. they've had six days. They've had a month to get ready for this game. Yeah. Now, I'll just add this as to why we may you, you, you seemed a little perplexed, a little puzzled, uh, if you will, on the Georgia Tech love. I think, and I'm not saying I agree with this before you jump down my throat, okay? But I think it's two things. One, you just kind of alluded to it. I think people are expecting regression from Florida State this year. After, after what's the last memory they had uh, last year? They were annihilated in the bowl game. Uh, by the yes. way, has it really been like nine months since you and I we're in the Encore Sportsbook in Boston with C- you at CT and I pacing like maniacs during that ACC championship game when Florida State beat Louisville with the third string quarterback sweating that bet down to the wire. We're in the anyway, I think we're in yes, the and I'll never forget they, they showed the they showed the quarterback, they showed the close up of his eyes, and I looked at you and I said, Oh dear God, he's scared to death. We are in a lot of yep. trouble. They won that game five percent winner for Brian Powers' clients. Anyway, uh another reason you talked about Brett Key, who was a great Higher 
certainly better than Jeff Collins. You would know that down in Atlanta. Um, but here's the deal. Key is 4-0 and straight up against ranked ACC teams since taking over. I think people are aware of that trend, and that may have something to do with this line move. I'm not saying that just because he's beaten four ACC ranked teams, you should blindly bet Georgia Tech. As a matter of fact, I'm with you. It would be Florida State or pass uh, in this ACC showdown. Also worth noting, the market has moved against Florida State next week as well when they play Boston College. So people people Um, ain't liking the Knowles in 2024. uh, And I'll just give one other note to the other Power 5 team playing this weekend with SMU, the brand new uh, ACC member who has come in. Look, I'll do this while I do this. Uh, The brand new ACC (laughs) member who has come in. Uh, They're taking on Nevada. That opening line at 20 and a half has moved. There we go. So it's moved up to 20 and a half. Uh, Nice person. Um, You know, let's move on. So uh, that line has moved about four or five points from the opening line to now SMU minus 24 and a half, minus 25. Uh, So you missed the best of the number. I can't really endorse laying. Although I think they're good up to four touchdowns, I, I wouldn't do it just based off of the fact that you missed that much of the opening number. Possibly an SMU team total over 41 and a half feels a little bit more appropriate for them. They should be able to get to 40 here. They return Preston Stone. They're two starting running backs, five wide receivers. This is an offense that was top 20 in the nation last year in total offense at 450 yards per game. They were top 10 in touchdowns last year, like 62 of them offensive touchdowns. So uh, I think they score here. I'd go to SMU's team total over 41 and a half if you got it out there. I want SMU on conference championship series. Well, you guys are killing me behind the scenes. Kevin Jennings, the backup for SMU. Even if they pull Preston Stone, they've got a great backup uh, down there in the Metroplex. That's what the cool people call it, uh, uh, say when they talk about SMU. All right. Just to recap, our double play today was Mm -hmm. the Detroit Tigers on the run line. I backed Arizona plus money on the money line. Show best bet was the Seattle Mariners with Castillo. New manager bounce for the M's. Uh, oh, I, Jesus. Oh, gee, I see. I mean, you walked right Mark's into it. it. Yeah, I did. I did. Oh, yeah. 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 I did ball. walk right in. Yes, and remember, yes, Bob, yes. remember, just get a lot more right than wrong, and you don't need chick. But we have no, no, I'm bouncing. <laughs> Mark's, you know, cash is sticking. <laughs>